it's basically through break dancing. Well, I, I came to hip hop through break dancing. Um, in 1999, I was at Arcadia Primary in Bonteville, and that's when um, I met guys like. Uh, well, I, at the time, the biggest crew for me was Crazy Hip Squad at the time. You know, I met guys like Bradley, uh, Nathan from Crazy Hip Squad, and we were watching them a lot. Uh, I was in I was in standard five at the time, and the whole class it was just that that energy. It was just break dancing was the thing at the time. Everyone had that energy. All the guys, um, it was just the thing to do. So in you know when we started, that was that was you know never mind soccer, never mind table tennis, what rugby, whatever. Break dance. This is the new thing, and that I just hooked, you know latched onto that, and I ran with it since then. Um, yeah, like I said, meeting Crazy Hip Squad, that, um, getting to practice with him, train with him, that was very really interesting for me. Uh, just to, you know, I, I, I kind of polished my, my art, saw a lot from them and took from that. Uh, so yeah, and I fell in love with it then. I fell in love with break dancing. I was, I break danced through high school. Uh, I was playing soccer as well, but, it, you know, somehow b-boying just kind of... You know, it was the small part and soccer was the big part and then I just kind of, you know, said no, no, I, we need, you know, come dance, come dance, you know, the music was calling me, everything was calling me, the, it was just the energy, I just love the energy about it. And, um, yeah, then I, I moved to, to Grahamstown, um, I started, well, I didn't start, but I, I met some b-boys there, started a, a, a crew at school, um, and that fueled it a bit more, and when I came back to Cape Town, you know, I, I, kind of, I took that energy and I met some more guys here and you know, since then, it's just been, it's been good, it's been, I love it, yeah. Some of the crews that I've been with, I, when I, when I started, I wasn't really in a, in a crew until 2002 when I went to Grimstown, like I said, and uh, I formed a crew at school, but we also had, there was a uh, breakdance crew in the community at the time called Bionic Breakers. And I danced with them, I performed with them at the Grahamstown Festival I got the, and that's how I got the opportunity to perform on a bigger stage in front of like bigger audiences, performed at schools with them and, and so on. And when I came back to Cape Town, um, that's when we formed Immortal Style. Um, myself and a couple of guys, you know, we were just, we needed, we were break dancers but we didn't have a crew at the time. So we said, okay, let's form Immortal Style, cool. So. We, we went with that and with Immortal Style, I've, I've never looked back since, like the guys, we are, we are like brothers, you know, so um, 2007, we entered our first competition, didn't get anywhere, 2008, Battle of the Year, we came second, so uh, it just shows that we worked hard to get to that spot, 2008, end of the year, we won African Battle Cry, and then 2009 came, we got the opportunity to go to Korea. Um, we battled hard, we, we won the finals there and we got to Korea, that was one of the highlights of my life, to go and experience a different culture, be at the World Korean World Championships, R16, um, and that was for me one of the biggest things that happened. Uh, yeah, that, uh, further on we, we won the Reunion Island competition, but, uh, Battle de la West Indian Ocean Tour, that was last December 2011. And um, yeah, that was also a very nice experience for me with, with Immortal Style. Um, why, why I chose hip hop is because of this, there's an energy that you, that, you know, when the music plays, when a break beat plays, I don't know, I, I cannot explain this, no people will be able to explain this for you. Um, when the music plays, you, there's, it comes from kind of inside, you just feel it, any beat, boom, 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 you feel it. And that for me is... It's, it's fundamental to my life now, like I, I, can't, I can't live without dancing or without listening to a b-boy beat or even if it's a normal song, I will still, my foot will move and I'll start top rocking or you know, in a club or wherever people will say snap out of the b-boy lifestyle, snap out of that, you're in a club, you're in a sophisticated area or whatever I don't care, it's just if I feel something you know, inside me just wanting to dance, I dance and I think that's what, that what, that's what draws me to it more, that's what um, keeps me going, keeps me going, it's a, it's a feeling, you know, so yeah, that's why hip hop, it's, it's just a feeling that's inside you.